Joey, you die so well. Dawson, can we get another one of those? Because I so love that image. No, we're behind schedule. Moving on. But you know who's not here? Uh, the critic from the Capeside Clarion? Joey. Yeah, she couldn't make it. Big date. It's too bad. But you missed a great show. And an incredible leading man. Well, thank you much, Liam. <laughs> of course, you hardly noticed. Hardly. Really missed her. Miss you. Okay, um, let's just say for the sake of argument that I had gotten myself into an impossible situation. That I had, hypothetically speaking, fallen for or was in the process of falling for the worst possible person that I could ever fall for. What would you tell me to do? I guess I would tell you that impossible situations are only made better by doing something about them. So I should just go and declare myself to her so that she could laugh in my face? It's a great idea. How do you know that's how she'd react? Well, I have it on pretty good authority that my rough charms don't really register on her rarefied romantic palate. I mean, let's face it, I got Ducky written all over me. Ducky? Yeah, Ducky. Molly Ringwald's best friend from Pretty in Pink. The guy who definitely does not get the girl. Yes, but he makes the girl feel good about herself. He does. He stands by her through innumerable fashion emergencies. He even humiliates himself by lip-syncing in a public place, and he takes her to the prom. Where she promptly dumps him for another guy. <laughs> All right. The question is, Pace, this girl that you have developed impossible feelings for, are you going to stand by her in a very ducky-like fashion, or are you going to let hurt feelings and pride prevent you from being the friend that you so innocently purport yourself to be? I guess it just hurts, that's all. Well, that just means that it isn't pretend anymore. No, I'd say that Pacey did a pretty impressive job of getting the word out to the people. Don't you think? Yeah. So you did it. You rallied to a certain someone's side in a very ducky-like manner. Yeah, mission accomplished. How do you feel? To be honest, I feel like dog meat. She didn't even thank me. She will. One day. How can you be so sure? Because every duck has his day. In case I don't say it enough. Thank you. You, me, Dawson, Pacey, it's a, it's a real ancestral little group. Now, I, I know I'm just standing on the periphery, but it seems like there's a whole world balance that's definitely been shifting. You know, what I'd like to know is... Uh... How some meaningless, impulsive scenario, which was over before it began, somehow became public knowledge. And what makes you think that I want to talk about it? Joey, nothing's public knowledge. And I, I have no idea what, what particular scenario you're referring to, but it's pretty clear from your attitude that it's not meaningless. And like I said before, if you need somebody to talk to to help figure things out with it, I, I just wanted to tell you that I'm here. Pacey kissed me the other day. I figured this thing would come to a head sooner or later. I mean, nothing came to a head. I mean, there is no thing. It, I'm just freaked out and angry, and I, I don't understand why he would do something like this. I mean, it, it came out of nowhere. And... Well, if it came out of nowhere, then how come I'm not surprised? You should ask yourself, Joey, if this is really nothing, then why are you so upset and so confused? Okay, so you've kissed back a certain someone, namely Pacey. And you'd like for that to continue? I think so, I mean... Yes. She wants to be with you, Pace. She does. And you know this how? You told me so this morning. <sighs> Why am I not happy to hear that right now? Well... Because right now, you've got to walk through that front door and tell your best friend that the only girl in the universe he can't live without... This is the same one that I can't live without. 
So tell me, what's the latest scuttlebutt? Uh, it, Bora Bora, where apparently you've gone Kurtz. Um, I hypothesized, however, that you were in fact here. But I think that everybody likes to imagine a far more exotic locale. And Joey? Joey likes to imagine you're happy. Which I am. Good. I think you'd be even happier if you came out with us tonight. There's no need to protect the guilty in this room. It's just sad that it took a TV show to make me see it. What? See what? I'm incredibly interested in all of this. The only decision left is the one that I need to make with myself. To stop running. Once and for all. I mean, I know who I'm supposed to be with. I've always known. Really? Yeah, but then the fear takes over. The free-floating, anxiety-ridden fear in the pit of my stomach that makes me run. Jen, I am completely comfortable running. I really don't know any other way. Maybe I can help. <clears throat> what if I demand that you make that decision? No more running. I recognize a Joey trans when I see it. <laughs> it is definitely nice to have her back around again. Do you feel the sparks? Well, you can never really deny the sparks between the two of us. When she's around, I just feel more... I feel more alive. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you just go to Dawson? Unless, of course, you now feel uncomfortable talking to him about your sex life, considering... Considering what? That your current Girl Friday used to be his. Oh, okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Dawson Leary didn't actually know about you and I until, what, two minutes ago? We're talking about us. What, Joey? This has nothing to do with Joey. Pacey, I saw the way that you overreacted to Dawson. I saw the way that Joey overreacted to us. I know that you're having trouble in math these days, but... It doesn't take Einstein to get the sum total of these two overreactions. You're going to have to explain this one to me because i got to be missing something here. You're talking about Joey Potter, right? The one who can't walk into the same room with me without gagging, huh? That Joey Potter? 